Boron, the Metalloid. Boron, the overlooked metalloid. Today, we are going to tackle the big question of whether boron is a metalloid or not. But first, let us define what the term metalloid means. A metalloid is a particular group of elements with both metal and non-metal properties. Metalloids are found on the periodic table, forming a staircase pattern as they decrease in metallic character. The metalloid element family includes boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium and polonium. Each of these metalloids has its unique properties. Metalloids are often used as semiconductors or insulators, making them essential components in our everyday electronics. They can also be used to create alloys with other metals for construction and fabrication. Metalloids can even add unique colorations to glass and ceramic pieces. What about the properties of metalloids? Metalloids have metals shiny metallic luster, but don't conduct electricity or heat as well as metals. Metalloid atoms also tend to form covalent bonds with other elements, giving them some non-metallic characteristics. This makes them great for all sorts of applications, from electronics to aerospace engineering. Metalloids have electronic band structures similar to semiconductors or semi-metals. These elements typically have intermediate ionization energies and electronegativity values. These are amphoteric or weakly acidic oxides. In addition, metalloid elements are solid at room temperature and have relatively high melting points. Many of metalloids' other physical and chemical properties are intermediate. What applications are metalloids used in? Metalloids have many practical applications in everyday life, from electronics to construction materials. They are broadly used as alloys, biological agents, flame glasses, catalysts and optical storage media. They are also used in semiconductors, pyrotechnics, optoelectronics and electronics. Metalloids are either toxic or have nutritional and medicinal properties. Boron, for example, is used to provide nutrition to plants and crops and is present in herbicides and insecticides. Now let's take a look at boron and define it as a metal, non-metal. Boron is considered a metalloid because it possesses characteristics common to both metals and non-metals. Boron possesses metal properties of high strength and metallic gloss, and non-metal properties such as brittleness and low concreteness. Compared to sodium and calcium, boron's hardness is much higher and it is a relatively rare element in the Earth's crust. Boron has many other unique properties. Namely, its outermost layer contains less than four electrons. Boron is found in crystalline and amorphous forms, the former being a brown-black powder with a metallic luster, while the latter is a silver-grey possessing near-diamond hardness. That said, Boron oxidizes on exposure to air at room temperature, but can self-ignite when heated to 800 degrees Celsius or higher. With boron's ability to strengthen metal alloys and prevent corrosion, boron has many practical applications. In the form of boric acid, boron has antiviral and antifungal properties. In the form of borax, it's used as a disinfectant, deodorizer, laundry detergent, and weed killer. Boron is an essential element in everyday life, found not just in its elemental form, but also as compounds like borosilicate glass and boron oxide. This multi-use element has endless applications from the strong boron carbide to the versatile boron nitride. In sum, metalloids are essential to the periodic table, representing a transition between metals 
and non-metals. With new uses being discovered constantly, it's important to remember the importance of metal ores. Understanding their properties can help us develop better materials for use in our everyday